Hello, Damon, Mercia Solutions. Um, today we're going to take a quick look at a 23 year old optical disc and how we can still access that data via switch over to uh, the uh, overhead cam. I'll show you the actual disc in question. So you can see here it's an actual gold disc. That actually means that the data is written in an actual thin layer of gold. Uh, which means it's very stable and very good for long-term data storage. As you can actually see, we'll still be able to read this disk. So, if I change over to a PC, what we can actually see here now is the disk has been placed into the actual drive. And we can view this images folder and browse the actual pictures. And here you can see we can actually open one up. Again, I'll now change over to a Linux uh, Ubuntu machine. We do the same here. We can see we've actually got the disk mounted on the mount folder. And again, we can browse through into the images folder. And again, access the same disk and image. And lastly, if we change over here to an Apple Mac, we go into Finder, and again, we can browse down through the disk and into the actual uh, images folder. Again, open up an image. Okay, so what we've basically learned there is there's actually different standards of media. Um, you can get optical discs that were provided with dies that weren't very stable, uh, which meant you could find that it wouldn't be readable after a few weeks or even a few hours in direct sunlight. Um, however, if you use media that is on a gold standard or organically stable media, it will last for tens, if not hundreds of years. Um, the other thing we've learnt there is the media is optically, uh, or the optical media is backwards compatible. Uh, which basically means that you can actually take the disc and place that into a drive from today. Um, you can go and buy a brand new drive. Um, which will read and write 128 gig Blu-ray media and this can still read a disc that was written over 20 years ago. It is also cross-platform supported um, that means you can basically pop the disc into a uh, PC, Mac, Linux or any other flavour of computer or any and read that standard and that is done without any additional software. Okay. Thank you very much.